2024 Ford Mustang Coupe First Look Review, Drifting into the Digital Era Ford fans weren't exactly jumping for joy a few years ago when the sixth-generation model arrived with an available four-cylinder engine. A four-pot under the hood of the American icon simply didn't seem right, but more open-minded enthusiasts soon realized that the EcoBoost deserved more credit than it got. For this, the seventh-gen Mustang Coupe, there is a new 2.3-liter EcoBoost to go along with edgier styling, a digital cockpit inspired by fighter jets, and many tasty performance upgrades. With the current Dodge Challenger aging and imminently going electric and the future of the Chevrolet Camaro up in the air, the all-new Mustang looks to be leading the conventionally powered muscle car realm for another good few years. When is the Ford Mustang Coupe coming out? If you want a current-gen Mustang, there is still some time to get one as the new one won't be coming out just yet. The release date for the Ford Mustang Coupe is set for the summer of 2023 when it goes on sale in the USA. 2024 Ford Mustang Coupe Price and Competition As is often the case for a new release, the 2024 Ford Mustang Coupe's price hasn't been shared yet. It will likely cost a bit more than the current Mustang EcoBoost, which begins at $27,470 MSRP, and we'd be happy if the Blue Oval manages to keep it under the psychological $30,000 mark. We don't need to tell you what rivals the Mustang will be measured against as that's obvious, the Dodge Challenger and the Chevrolet Camaro. We already know that Dodge is retiring its V8 engine soon, but the base Challenger V6 may just stick around long enough to overlap with the Mustang before Dodge turns to electrification. There are also rumors that Chevy will drop the Camaro after 2023, but until this is confirmed, it will remain a Mustang competitor. New Ford Mustang Coupe Exterior and Colors Immediately identifiable as a Mustang thanks to a heritage-inspired design, this is perhaps the most important aspect of a look that is more chiseled than before. A new Ford Mustang Coupe exterior that was too different or couldn't be linked to the pony badge by the casual observer would have been regarded as a travesty, so the blue oval was wise to avoid rocking the boat too much. In front, the low, horizontal brow creates the impression of width, and the tri-bar LED headlamps have a familiar lighting signature but have been subtly reshaped compared to the previous model. Every model in the new Mustang lineup has a unique front end, so the standard model has smaller grille openings compared to the more powerful GT, which we review separately. Redesigned front splitters and a new hood with special vents also form part of the changes. The side profile features a familiar glass house and muscular fenders. As standard, the coupe comes with 17-inch alloy wheels, but larger wheels will be available. At the back, there is a restyled interpretation of the taillights with their trio of lighting bars. Whereas the previous model had a thick black panel between the taillights, the new model has a cleaner body color section. The rear shows off obviously widened haunches, too. The standard Mustang Coupe doesn't have the GT's flamboyant spoiler, but a touch of aggression comes via the twin tailpipes, one on either side of the body. Colors for the Ford Mustang Coupe will extend to no less than 11 shades. Vapor blue and yellow splash are new, and there will be new stripe designs to further customize the car's appearance. Brake calipers will be available in various colors like grabber blue and red, and there is an optional bronze design series appearance package. This swaps out the standard alloys for sinister bronze ones, and the default badging gains a matching bronze look. An optional performance pack brings with it wider wheels and tires plus larger Brembo brakes. These brakes measure 15.3 inches in front and 13.9 inches at the back. What if you want both the performance pack and the bronze design series appearance package? No problem, says Ford, as the two can be optioned together. Ford Mustang Coupe Dimensions Official dimensions for the Ford Mustang Coupe include an overall length of 189.4 inches and a height of 55 inches, making the new Stang Coupe longer and taller than the outgoing model. Ford emphasized the new model's overall width more than once, yet the new model retains the same width as the old one at 75.4 inches, excluding the mirrors. The existing Mustang has a length of 188.5 inches and a height of 54.3 inches, and the new one shouldn't be too far off these figures. The wheelbase measures 107 inches. 
With another EcoBoost engine under the hood, the curb weight for the new model remains the same at 3,492 pounds, while adding the auto box pushes that number up to 3,512 pounds. Ford Mustang Coupe Engine and Performance A few years ago, we came up with what we believe to be five legitimate reasons that the Mustang EcoBoost was better than the V8. This underrated power plant deserves, at the very least, a test drive before you write it off. The engine in the new Ford Mustang Coupe is a new 2.3-liter four-cylinder turbocharged EcoBoost. Ford hasn't shared outputs yet, but the current EcoBoost delivers 310 horsepower and 350 lb-ft of torque. A high-performance variant with 330 hp-350 lb-ft is also available presently. Reports suggest the 6-speed manual gearbox won't be available with the EcoBoost engine, leaving only a 10-speed automatic directing power to the rear wheels. However, Ford's official specs suggest both will be on offer. Based on independent testing, the current Mustang EcoBoost can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in approximately 5 seconds, so if the new one is more powerful, it may dip into the 4s. Ford will obviously want to maintain the current Mustang's handling prowess. The new one comes with six driving modes tailored for various conditions, normal, sport, slippery, drag, track, and a customizable setting. Owners can unlock an even sportier persona with the EcoBoost Performance Pack, which adds a front tower brace, a Torsen Limited slip differential, and wider wheels slash tires. There is also an available Magnaride Active Suspension. Electronic line lock for track use is also available. For sideways action, Ford was keen to tout its segment-first electronic drift brake that mimics the functionality of a conventional mechanical handbrake. With the performance pack, the performance electronic parking brake is standard and is a great tool for novice drivers to work on their drift skills. It should prove equally rewarding for more skilled drivers. One cool but questionable feature for the 2024 Mustang Coupe is Remote Rev, which is precisely what it sounds like. This gives owners the ability to rev the car's engine remotely with the key fob, but it's probably best reserved for the Mustang GT with its V8. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.